All right, my name is Master Miguel Lopez. Uh, we started on Way Ship kind of in the middle of our long start. Uh, Way Ship is really beginning when we're infants. When we start to, to crawl, the person we knew even before we crawl is we start pushing up on our hands like a baby does, okay? They push up on their hands, they start lifting their head, and they drop their head. What they're doing is, by exploring and looking up and arching, they're starting to build up their muscle strength in their arms, okay? After a while, they start rocking. They get on their knees. Then they start rocking. Then before you know it, they take a step with their hands. They start crawling, okay? Once they start crawling, now they're ripping all over the place. You're chasing them because they're getting pretty fast. After the crawl, they learn to stand. That's the next stage. They stand up, and they start balancing their weight instead of all fours on two legs. That's kind of difficult. It's kind of fun to watch kids walk because when they walk, they're really falling into their next step. They're not walking into it. Especially when they first start, it's kind of like, <laughs> they fall this way and they fall that way. It's real fun to watch, real cute, okay? But it's basically the same thing. As we start getting older, we learn to walk and we learn to balance, but it's really a game of balance and unbalance. When I walk and I step this way, I'm really unbalanced. If someone hits me, until I put this leg down, I'm gonna fall, okay? What you learn to start doing is if I lower my weight and I step out, I'm really balanced right now because my knee is bent. I don't know if you can see this. And I can have balance right now. When I step out, I have not taken my weight off this leg yet. As I put this leg down and find the floor, now when I shift my weight, I always have balance. Does that make sense? So I bend here, this is free, right here, because this is bent and absorbing my weight. As I step, my weight is still here, and when I find the floor now, I shift my weight on back to balance, two feet on the ground, okay? So learning how to walk properly, and learning how to walk by shifting weight, it's also a big part of what we do, okay? So once I learn to walk, now I can start running. I start taking my steps, I start jumping, I start progressing. Martial arts is this way. If you get out there on the mat and they start showing you how to do forms and lessons and you haven't even learned to crawl yet, they're teaching you how to run, it's not gonna work, okay? So what we do here at our school is we start from the very single basics. And the basics is learning how to start to put your hands up. Okay, which relates to how to stand, how to drop your weight into a full horse, how to be in a left horse, how to be in a right horse, and coming back to center. Those three steps are the very first step in, in getting you on your way to your journey. Okay? I've been in martial arts for probably 23 years. And uh, I've been in, I, before I got into Sun Tzu, I got into Judo, Aikido, and Aikido. That was pretty good. And I met my master. <laughs> Things changed a little bit different. Okay? But I've been in the Sun Tzu for about 15 years, out of those 23 years, going on 16 now. Um, and I really like Sun Tzu because Sun Tzu has everything in it. Okay, it's not just one branch of the tree. You've got to learn all the branches of the tree. But the tree trunk is the basics. Okay, and one of the major basics is learning the knowledge of where your weight is at all times. Okay. All right. So now that we understand about our weight shifting. When we get in our horses. If my belt is hanging to the center, I'll kind of pull this side because we're going to pump up. My belt is hanging when I'm in a horse here. Come here. Come here. This is Nicholas Lopez, my nephew, and also a pretty good practitioner. What I want you to do is turn around and get in the full horse. If I get in the you just sit in the full horse. At a full horse, his weight is not on this leg completely, not on that leg completely. It is centered, straight down from the center line, right here. Okay? That is what we call centers. So he is aware of where his weight is. His weight is on the center. If there was a stick going through him up to his head, and his head was a bowling ball on top of the stick, his weight needs to be right over that stick in his head. If he leans forward, turn sideways. If he leans forward just to here, that is off balance. Because now his, the weight of his head is pulling him in this direction. What you want to do is have your back straight, straight up into the stick, into the head. So now he is centered right over his hips. Okay? Now, turn sideways to the right horse that way. Face that ball. Okay, same thing in this point. If the stick is going through him, it wants to be right over the center of his horse. Okay? But if he shifts his weight forward, his weight is no longer in the center. It is now moved to the front part of his thigh. Okay? This is being aware of where his weight is. Okay? Shift the weight back to center. Even though he's in a right horse, now he's back center. He saw his body move his center line, okay? And we'll, we'll get into talking about that too. But now his center line has moved, okay? If I am fighting it, let's okay, next stand up, throw your punch. 
If he's throwing a punch, where's his weight rating? It would be right here in this section. So being a practitioner of Sun Tzu, I gotta be aware of that weight. If I blocked him and pulled his hand, now where's his weight? It just shifted again. So if I want to hit his center line and kick it, do I kick it back to where it was or where it is? I want to kick it where it is because that is where all of his weight is right now. Okay? So when he throws this punch, don't leave for him, stay still. He throws that punch and his center line's there, this is where I want to strike if I'm leaving center. Okay? If I shift his weight, now where do I want to strike? Back here or in front right here? Now I want to strike it right here. And that is the center. So by understanding your center, you can start reading your opponent's center. And we'll get into it uh, in thorough about where your center is and how to read centers of your own body. Once you start understanding that, then we can start working on how to read our body.